What is going on guys, Ju here, bringing you another review on Mob Psycho. So, this episode definitely is opening up another, or well, introducing us, better yet, to an actual threat to Mob. I was not expecting this at all, but I gotta say, if Mob were to grow up to be, I guess, anyone... I could easily see him becoming this kind of a person. Um, honestly, it was an unexpected turn of events for this episode. And I enjoyed it. I think this is probably the best episode we've had so far. But we start off with Reagan getting an invitation from a rich guy uh, saying that they want to have Mob and Reagan go th get there. Uh, and when they do... It turns out that this dude seems to be loaded. He seems to be rich. And they are not the only ones there. We have all kinds of uh, psychics actually there. You know, they're all gathered. It turns out that they are actually all there to see if they can exercise uh, the supposed demon that is inside this man's daughter. Uh, she's actually chained up. It's kind of a weird situation um we have reagan saying i'll go in there uh, but because everyone also wants to go in we have them going to kind of going through rock paper scissors and reagan actually wins and it should be no surprise there reagan would find a way uh, and he does go in there uh, this man says i'll give you anything you want you know i'll pay you whatever you want uh, mob is even excited to the idea that he might get a bonus despite being underpaid by uh, Reagan all the time we see that he actually sits down and talks to this girl and she seems like a normal person she claims that her father's been hitting her and having her in this uh, room locked up and of course it makes it seem like you know that the one that's crazy is the father uh, but from what Reagan gathers uh, stepping out of the room he basically tells them you know if you believe her you might as well go ahead and leave now uh, because it seems as though she's not telling the truth and of course Reagan was on it like Reagan in this episode I and I want to say throughout this series so far he has been very uh, very much very serious nothing compared to what he was in the first couple episodes of the last season he's definitely been more of a uh i don't want to say a, a father figure but more of a more respectable guy uh, to mob um, and he's been more observant of a mob uh, not at first but he's starting to even more and more and he's seeing that and especially in this episode but the true colors are revealed this girl uh, minori is actually under the control of mogami keiji who in the beginning of the episode was a flashback was going up against dimple during i guess his prime time uh, and dimple actually realizes who this person is and tells uh, both uh, reagan and a mob about where this person came from his history this person was an entertainer but actually seek revenge uh and was an assassin he had lost his mother and after basically losing her he goes off the deep end uh, and now his goal was to become the strongest evil spirit and at this moment according to uh dimple it seems as though he has achieved it and so it's very interesting that this person decides to possess this girl who honestly is shocking to uh, mob who consistently sees how this person is able to kind of uh, move around and even infuse himself with the girl's body becoming more of a demon state um, but mob takes it upon himself it's like look there's, there's got to be a way we got to stop this uh, he tells dimple look I need you to watch over my body. Uh, I'm going to, you know, go into hers. Uh, we see that he does it. He's able to go in and actually uh, arrive inside her. While at the same time, we have Dimple kind of defending off against Minori's body. And in the, inside, we see the struggle that is within 
uh, both Mogami, Mogami and Mob, who is kind of like in a, I, it looks like a, I want to say like an intermediate state where they're just kind of talking and we have Mob just trying to tell him like, look, we gotta, uh, we got, you gotta go basically. We don't, you don't need to be here, but uh, it seems as though Mob has the win. It looks like he's destroyed him, but the tables are quickly turned uh, by Mogami, who actually just kind of gauges his abilities. And he actually tells him something interesting, where it was like, do you know where your ESP and psychic abilities come from? And he tells him that it stems from your emotions. He's, he even asks him, you know, do you think that someone who's lived a whole life of happiness and someone who's done nothing but suffer who is going to have the stronger emotions and of course he does answer his own question by saying the person that suffered because that person is uh, having more negative energy which is much more powerful and weirdly enough he turns mob kind of into like a crystallite or a stone version and he basically resets him uh, it, the way uh, the episode ends is where he's like, Mob can't use his abilities. Uh, he's gone back to being a normal person, uh, in a sense. And he even tells him, he's even said that he actually manipulated some of Mob's memories. So, Mob has no idea what's going on, uh, and wakes up that way. So it's, and the episode ends that way. Uh, he's he's going to be observing him, and I'm wondering, his... Mogami going to be the one to have Mob turn from good to evil. You know, it's a very strong possibility. I think that he's got some, he's going to have some kind of influence on Mob uh, throughout this season now. And I like this character. Like, we need someone who's kind of been in Mob's position to kind of have him influence and make him make a decision of his own. But guys, that is it for me. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys have, leave a like, comment down below. Stay safe, and I'll catch you later. That's, that's DJ